Hello and welcome to this Tales from the Hutnanger Aircraft Rarities episode about the Breguet 890 and 892 Mercure and the 891 Mars. This episode continues my recent run of episodes about post-war aircraft from the mid to late 1940s. Links to these episodes are in this one's description. This episode is very similar to ones I've done before. The French after World War II wanted to build up and self-manufacture their own aircraft and engines if possible. There was a strong requirement for airliners and military transport aircraft in France and their colonies and they were needed to replace the DC-3s and C-47s and other aircraft like the AAC-1 that was a French built JU-52 and you can see one in the background of this photograph. The Breguet 890, 891 and 892 was an all-metal cantilever high-wing monoplane transport aircraft. It had a retractable tricycle landing gear. Breguet around the mid-1940s started to design and build three prototypes. All three aircraft were very similar. Their wing was a development from an earlier Breguet design with the same profile, but built with different manufacturing techniques and a modified wingspan. This wing was equipped with simplified high-lift devices. The lean edge could be equipped with a de-icing system, either thermal or pneumatic and they're all fitted with a swing tail for ease of loading and unloading. However, the engines used were not the same. The engine specifications and performance details will follow later. So starting with the first three aircraft built, the 892S Mercure, later converted to the H specification, was Foxtrot Whiskey, Foxtrot Delta Oscar. This was a quick change convertible passenger or cargo or combi variant. It first flew on the 1st of March 1949. This aircraft could accommodate 40 passengers it was fitted with a swing tail and a large cargo door on the starboard side and two passenger doors on the port side. It was powered by four 500 horsepower Renault 12S engines and these were based on German Argus engines. It was pulled along with three bladed propellers but it quickly was discovered the engines were basically useless and underpowered. Now we've heard that before about old aircraft. It was then decided to replace the four engines with two 2000 horsepower Bristol Hercules engines with four bladed rotor propellers along with an H version tail and stabiliser, so it underwent a major conversion. It still carried the same registration of Foxtrot Whiskey, Foxtrot Del Rosca, but I could not find any photos of it after the conversion, and it's not clear how much it was used after the work was completed. So on to the second aircraft, and that was an 891R Mars, which is the military variant, and its registration was Foxtrot Whiskey, Foxtrot Romeo Bravo. It first flew on the 15th of November 1949, and it was powered by two 1,600 horsepower Gnome Rhone Snecma 4R200 engines with three bladed propellers. The Mars had additional upper cockpit glazing. It had a swing tail and its tail was a slightly different design to the Mercure's. It could accommodate 20 paratroopers and had parachute doors on each side of the fuselage. It also had a floor chute for dropping containers and a toner hook for gliders. The Flight Test Centre decided to keep it after its test flights and to use it as a support and utility aircraft. One of its jobs was for transportation of products and equipment to test centres in the Sahara. They operated it from 1952 until 1956 until it was scrapped some time later. The third aircraft, 890H Mercure, Foxtrot Whiskey, Foxtrot Romeo Foxtrot, and this is a passenger version of the aircraft. It first flew on the 5th of April 1950 and it was powered by two 2,000 horsepower Bristol Hercules engines with four blade rotor propellers. It was originally going to use two Junkers Umo 211 engines. This aircraft could accommodate 40 passengers and was fitted like the rest with a swing tail. General characteristics and I've condensed it all down into one list and uh, I know any subtle differences between the aircraft but basically they're all very similar. So had a crew of four and a maximum of 40 passengers. Its length was 21.60 metres. Its wingspan was 30.60 metres. Its height was 7.20 metres and its wing area was 101.20 square metres. Takeoff weight. The Mars was 16,850 kilograms and the Mercure was 20,000 kilograms. Payload weight. The Mars 5,300 kilograms and the Mercure 6,210 kilograms. Performance. Operational ceiling of the Mars was 18,100 metres and the Mercure was 7,800 metres. Maximum speed. The Mars was 365 kmph and the Mercure was 380 kmph. Cruising speed of the Mars was 316 kmph and the Mercure was 310 kmph. The range of the Mars was 1,500 km and the Mercure was 1,000 km. 
The French Air Force tested the Mars thoroughly and said it operated with no issues, but in the end they ordered the Nord nor Atlas and the reason why? It was simply a better aircraft. War surplus aircraft like the DC-3 aka C-47 were still available to commercial operators. No orders came in, so both Brigade types never went into production. The Brigade 890 series of aircraft, going by what I could find out, was not a bad aircraft. It lost out to the competition, and in the end, on the military side, to the Nor Atlas in France. So that's about it. This is all I could find out about this type. Not sure when Romeo Fox and Delt Rosca were scrapped, or if any parts remain of any of the three aircraft. Other planned variants were proposed but obviously never built. I hope you enjoyed that and many thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe or leave a comment as any type of feedback is appreciated. So for now, thank you and uh, goodbye.